Hello and welcome to our video. On this video we're going to be installing a cold air intake system on our 2002 Lexus GS300. So the system comes from HPS Performance Products. It's in this box here. We'll show you as we go along what's all in the box and how to install it. At this time what we'd like to do is review the installation of this and what all we did to get it installed. And just again as a reminder, always wear safety glasses and don't work on a hot engine. So the first thing we did of course was we removed the four bolts for this cover, took the cover off and set it aside. And then next we disconnected the breather hose that went to the valve cover. So it's underneath there, there was a hose. This has replaced it right here. So after that, what we did was we disconnected the mass airflow sensor, which is now located here. And it has a couple bolts that hold it in. And then there was an evaporator um, solenoid and it's now located here, but it was down below. And you just take the bolt out for that because we relocated it here. Um, you disconnect the vacuum hose that's attached to the air box. No longer an air box here, but you'll see there's a vacuum hose at the bottom. And the instructions they give you are actually pretty good. Um, now you want to unbolt the three screws or bolts that hold down the air box, which was originally located right here. Um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to loosen the clamp on the throttle body, which this hose here is replaced. So we took the hose clamps loose and we removed the bolt that went to the air duct and removed, um, that was this duct here, and we removed the air duct from the vehicle. And then um, what we did was we carefully removed the air box and took it out of the engine bay and set it aside. We kept it so that if we want to install it later, we can do that. We kept all the parts with it. Um, carefully, you have to remove um, a bolt located on the frame rail, frame rail where the ground goes. So we took that bolt loose and removed the ground. And what we did next was we slid this heat shield right here in. And there's a bolt that goes in in the front up here and that's been tightened down. And there's another bolt that goes in the back, but that just goes in loosely so you can adjust everything so it fits properly. And then um, next what we did was we installed the silicon coupler hose right here. Then we disconnected the vacuum hose that went from the frame rail to the evaporator solenoid down there. And they give you a new hose to replace it with. And you'll have to cut those to length here in just a minute. You prepare this pipe. And to do this, since ours was painted with a wrinkle finish, we had to retap it with, um, I believe it was M4 and M6 standard taps because there was paint in the threads. So we retapped it. We transferred the mass airflow sensor right here. We inserted the uh, air intake into the coupler just for fitment purposes. We left it loose at that point in time. Um, we lined up the, there's like a vibration piece that goes underneath here. It's a rubber piece with two bolts coming out. We lined it up and uh, set it in there and put a nut on it to hold it in place temporarily. We bolted the evaporator solenoid to the intake pipe with um, the provided bolt that they gave us. And it ends up being down here on this piece here, but on the bottom. And then um, what we did is we cut the lengths of hose to 10 inches and 13 inches. We attached the 13 inch long hose as per the instructions. So the two hoses are gonna go here and down here. And it tells you where and which size, which length of hose to use. We removed the remaining factory hose before we did that and installed it. And um, we installed a half inch breather hose onto the intake pipe onto the valve cover that's back here. And we went to the store and got some hose clamps. We wanted to get some different hose clamps, so this is all we could find. The hose where it goes into the breather tube is pretty tight. The hose where it goes here on this fit is a little loose, so we wanted to be able to put hose clamps on it that were a little better than the original. Then you press in the air straightener. It goes into the end of this pipe here and it helps keep the flow laminar. We installed the K&N filter, and then last we connected the MAF sensor, and please don't forget to do that, else you'll throw a code. That's really all there was to install this, and that's it, pretty easy.